Blues manager Gary Rowett sat down to his pre-match press conference ahead of Saturday's trip to MK Dons. But before football matters were to be discussed, Rowett spoke about the speculation surrounding Damari Gray. You know, like we've always said, I think the first minute Dimmy stepped foot on a, um, a pitch with Birmingham City, there's always going to be speculation because he's a, he's a real talent. Um, I think we know that speculation is always going to get get hotter and hotter as the transfer window opens. Um, we've got four or five days, impossible to predict everything that's going to happen. But at the moment, um, you know, obviously been lots of interest. I think Damari's always said the same to me, but he's 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 happy here. He signed a contract in the summer. He's enjoying his football. Uh, I don't think anyone can ever say definitively that that you know he's never going to move on. But at the moment, that's uh, you know that's the conversations I've had with him. So so again, listen, it's, you know we'll see what happens over the next four or five days. But um, you know I'm not I'm not overly concerned. On the field, Rowett has a fully fit squad to choose from and a few potential selection headaches after the performances of some of his players in midweek. Yeah, no, we've got a full, full squad to pick from again. Um, really pleased with that. Again, you know, touch wood that we, we maintain that, but I think that's, that, that's the point. Uh, I thought Tuesday night's performances, of course, every good performance by players that are not playing regularly gives me food for thought. Uh, I think the, the performance in terms of technically was very good, physically was very good. Second half we covered bags of distance, you know, which which you would wonder sometimes for some that haven't played so often w w wouldn't be able to do, but they did. Um, but again, you know, that's something we'll always assess. We're unbeaten at the moment, so I don't think there's a massive need to to to, to disrupt and change too much. Um, but at the same time, we've we've had some good performances from ones that have not been, not been in the starting eleven. New signing Nikolai Brock Madsen and academy product Viv Solomon Otterbaugh made their Blues debuts against the Jills and the manager was pleased with what he saw. Well, very different, different scenarios, I think. Um, Brock's obviously one we brought in to be part of the, the first team group and the first team squad straight away. Um, I think, you know, watching him coming on for 15 minutes, I mean, he, he did exactly what I'd expect him to do. You know, he's, he's, he was a handful in the air, he had a couple of headers, um, he's won a couple of headers, he's not allowed a defender to, to have a free header, he's chased it around the pitch like, you know, he was desperate to do well um, and that's what we're after, we're after that, that type of desire and that type of determination um, and I think for me, uh, Viv's a different scenario, Viv's an emerging player um, in our group, he showed in training that he's worth a try in and around the first team. He's earned that. Um, he showed that he can come on the pitch and handle, albeit in a slightly different game with a slightly lower crowd, but he's a serious option for us now, I believe. Um, now he's still got a lot to do. He's still got to work very hard every day. He's not going to be every match day squad. Sometimes he might be in the match day 18, sometimes he might not be. And then it's going to be up to him how he copes with that and how he does. But um, he's certainly done well enough to potentially travel with the first team um, and, and, and again he gives you food for thought because he's lightning quick, he's six foot, he's got two good feet um, and he's shown now he can kind of handle a first team game so, so yeah. Saturday's game sees Blues face newly promoted MK Dons who have made an excellent start to life in the championship but Rower is hoping that it's his side that can build on their unbeaten start to the season. Well, I think, you know, I've seen a lot of them over the years. I've done really, really well the last two or three years. Been knocking on the door of, of promote, promotion to the championship. I think they finally got there. Um, they play good football. They've pride, pride themselves on, on moving the ball well and, and possession-based football. So I think we know from that point of view what, what they'll try to do. I think the challenge to any team, knowing what the opposition is going to do is one thing. Trying to stop it is another thing. Um, and we'll just go there and put hope to put another strong performance in. But like you say, they've started really well. I think any any team that's just been promoted has that little bit of momentum. I think until you lose maybe a couple of games heavily, that momentum doesn't stop. Um, and then that's a different type of problem to deal with. But um, yeah, listen, we look forward to the game. I think we're going to have a really good, strong travelling uh, 
um, amount of fans, which is brilliant, you know, for us, particularly at a place like MK Dons, where they perhaps don't get as many home fans as some of the other clubs in the championship. But, you know, for us, that will feel like a, almost a neutral venue in some ways because so much noise of our way fans will make. So we're really pleased with that and I appreciate the, the effort those fans have made. So, yeah, we're really looking forward to the game. Again, we've got a break afterwards, so I think everyone now is looking to try and get a positive result to take them into the international break for us, you know, if, if we can do that, it would mean a, a, a really good unbeaten run of games. But again, it's not necessarily about that. It's about picking points up. And it's about winning games. You know, we've only won one league game out of the three. So therefore, we, we go there, you know, hoping to, to try and win the game, but it's going to be difficult.